I'm loving this blue stuff with the variegated leaf. This is coming to the end of its loverliness. My water tanks that we put in recently are full and the transition when this gets full it fills that one is really really good. I'm really glad so I'll be transplanting the water lilies into here at some stage in the next few days. The tulips in this bed are beginning to come out and looking fantastic. It's like a Easter egg of tulips. So many different colors and this Picasso one I'm pretty sure this is called Picasso is amazing. All the colors is just fantastic. Quite a character for a tulip. So the Japanese maple is leafing out. Then over here we still have this hellebore still blooming and all the primulas. Look at that. These tulips are about to flower. And so are these. I love these tulips in here. They're all the one same one. They're going to be blooming soon. More primulas. There's uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different varieties just right there. There's more along here. But it's looking good. I love the honesty. I'm thinking next year, there's one of my favorite red tulips is called King's Blood. And it's a really, really deep, rich, rich, delicious red. Look at these. These are called polar bear snowflakes. They're so big. Anyway, the King's Blood tulips, I'm thinking of getting some bulbs and planting them in here. Can you imagine with these lime greens and the purple honesty, really, really rich red tulips scattered through there will look fabulous. So I'm thinking of, oh, I've got to do a bit of kneading, weeding. There's some nettles in there. Anyway, that is looking fabulous, that bed. So all it needs is the touch of red tulips. Over here, this is a kind of Japanese, not a Japanese, this is a kind of jasmine. It doesn't smell very much. Here's the two weedy tulips looking great in that bed. Those are old fashioned gladioli that are gonna be flowering soon. Over here, this pear tree is in bloom. Beautiful pear tree. But what's really lovely is this tulip patch here. These are the wonderful, all these red tulips over the years were from ones that were in pots. But as well as that, in here are some of the old, old fashioned wild tulips. Those little guys there, which are lovely stripy fellows. I really like those as well. So that's looking really good. And then over here, there's another patch of tulips. I'd say that patch of tulips was from a pot I had at one stage and we just planted, transplanted the pot of tulips there. They're, those are kind of African um, flower. Can't think what it's called right now. This rose is gonna look fantastic really soon. But it's all, it's all happening here. The bluebells are beginning to come out. There are the hellebores, the several different kinds. These are geraniums, hardy geraniums, more hellebores. Then there's ferns in the apple tree with a periwinkle, this variegated periwinkle, and then the bluebells are all coming out. So beginning to look really loverly. Then here we have all these kind of reds and a red hellebore. This is a lovely carpet of flowers that are just beginning to bloom. You can just see there the blue of it coming out. That's a primula. Then over here, there's some more tulips. I love these purple tulips. There were loads of them in here, but I think the rats got in. So there's not so many of them anymore, but this purple was really, really, really lovely. Then there's more 
purple tu purple what color is that <laughs> lambing brain these are red tulips and all the kind of things like um, snowdrops are going over they're just in their leaves or here you can see a seed head of snowdrop seed head those are hellebores and there's a lone yellow tulip more hellebores and the hostas are beginning to unfurl here. Oh, look at the two of you, the pair of you. And these, I love these. Now, are you gonna come down so I can look at the yellow flowers? Come on, get down, get down, come on. Good girl. I love these yellow flowers. They're so delicate. And there's a whole patch of them right there. And then there's some snakehead fritrilleries and more hellebores and uh, grape hyacinths, you can see. Down there is a skunk cabbage. And there's also irises down there, uh, yellow flag irises, more hellebores. So it's a, a busy time of year with plants coming up all over the place. Oh, let's go up here up these steps over here boop boop move thank you and then this area is my weeding pile i haven't removed yet this up here is beginning to bloom or the these are wallflowers and forget-me-nots and the daisies i've got to take these down but these will all begin to bloom in here there's uh, all kinds of yarrows and uh, alums and all kinds of things for later in the season. This isn't spring, spring. The forget-me-nots are here. Maybe one day I'll plant tulips in here. I don't know, but not at the moment. But there's loads of plants that will be coming, coming up later on. You can see there's some beginning to show themselves over there. And then there's things like, the, that's a foxglove. There's a batch of daisies. And these irises smell heavenly. Beautiful, delicious iris. Anyway, that's a, that's a garden tour with all the tulips beginning to come out and the beautiful little wild ones. There you go, the little wild tulips.